As with 12 volt power, LPG or diesel, the availability of water is something that can limit your time off grid and mean cutting a trip short or venturing to a campsite. Well, in this video, we'll share our experience, tips and suggestions of ways to keep off grid longer when it comes to water and ways we help to make sure our sources of thought water are fit for consumption. Don't forget to check out our other videos on everything camper van and motorhome related from solar to water, heating to gadgets, tyres to trips. If you like this video please do hit the thumbs up, it really does help me to know what you like and you can ask any questions or give feedback in the comments. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos please hit the subscribe button and clicking the bell will give you a notification when a new video goes live. Finally, if you do decide to hit the thumbs down, it would be great if you could also leave a comment so I know what you didn't like. In this video, we're going to cover three main areas. Places to get water, making water safer to drink, and conserving water to help make it last longer. So let's start with, where can you get water? Airs and service points are our first choice, not only because they're easy and also often give us the chance to empty waste as well, but by using and paying the small charge, we feel we support the network and hopefully encourage more to stay open and more to be installed. Our main source for locating them is the Park for Nights app, which if you pay for the premium subscription, you can filter to locate water. Now in the UK there aren't a huge amount, although we are getting more service points like there are on the continent, but there are water taps in many places listed. Another option for the UK if you're a member of the Camping and Caravanning Club is their service point option. For under £8 you can make use of a club site's facilities for 3 hours, that's the showers, toilets, waste disposal and water. It's also worth asking the question at independent sites that may let you do similar. To keep small amounts of drinking water topped up, you can use the Refill app to locate public water fountains, bottle filling stations and shops that will fill up your water bottle for free. Now, this really is only going to be useful for small amounts of water, but is your useful source in urban areas. There are other, let's say, less official places you can potentially get water. Pubs and garages often have a tap, and if you ask, particularly after a purchase, they may not mind you getting a top-up. Personally, we don't use cemeteries, but they do have taps if you are morally okay with it. Whatever location you use, it's worth having a few items to make filling easy. A range of different tap adapters, and we've made particular use of the hose lock universal tap adapter in many situations where we wouldn't be able to fill up without it, and it's also worth having your own hose pipe. If you are really struggling and need water, if you shop around, bottled water can actually be got at a pretty reasonable rate. Finally, in the right locations and with the right precautions, then water from the environment, be it rivers and streams, snow or rain, can be an option. So let's now talk about helping to make the water you get safer. Other than sealed bottled water, whatever your source, the quality could be questionable. Some more than others. But even at an official filling point, you don't know how the last person treated it. For example, I think most of us have seen toilet cassettes being washed out with freshwater hoses on occasions. So a wipe over the tap with an anti-back wipe and using your own food grade hose pipe is something we tend to do as standard. If it's a source we're unsure of, we also use a relatively cheap total dissolved solids tester, which would indicate high levels of organic compounds or heavy metals. An acceptable TDS level is generally agreed to be below 500 parts per million, with anything over a thousand being unfit for human consumption. The TDS tester indicates dissolved solids, but in some cases you can even see suspended particulate matter, and if you have collected from nature, filtering is a good idea. Where we have suspicions we use a Sawyer mini filter. This filters particles down to 0.1 microns, making it not only able to filter particles but also bacteria and protozoa. The 
The unit has a standardised thread which fits onto most bottles. And if we compare the two, pre-filtered and post-filtered, you can clearly see the difference. Foreign particles that are clearly present in the pre-filtered sample are removed after filtering. What the Soya filter won't deal with is viruses. Thankfully these are rare, but if you are concerned then the cheapest option is to boil any drinking water, or alternatively use a purification tablet. These could be chlorine, which are effective and cheap but do leave a slight taste, or chlorine dioxide, which are more expensive but don't have the bad taste. Or if you are looking for a portable non-chemical option, the Grail filter, though more expensive, is effective at filtering out viruses. Its lifetime and storage time are significantly shorter than the Soya though. Once you've got your water, if you don't have an easy source plan to fill up, then conserving it as much as possible will help. If you're using water to shower, then a navy shower is a method to get clean using the minimum amount of water. Switching the shower off once you're wet, lathering yourself up, and then switching the shower on to rinse. Or you could go a step further with a baby wipe shower, but do consider the environmental impact of those wipes. When it comes to reducing water from washing up, finding one pot recipes to minimise the number of cooking pots to wash up, and some people use paper plates to avoid the need to wash up. Or a sheet of grease proof paper over a standard plate or bowl is a good way to enable you to simply bin any mess without having to wash up. Thanks for watching our video and as always if you have any questions or feedback please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful please like, share and consider subscribing.